Hey there, fellow crop enthusiasts. Welcome to my journey through the world of agriculture and balanced planting schemes. My name is Albert and on this channel we will take a deep dive into the exciting world of urban farming. I'm on a mission to find a way for plants to sustain their own ecosystem through balanced planting schemes. Please join me as I learn more about plant nutrients and crops in general. Hello and welcome to my channel. It's sunny here in South Africa today and so I thought we'd get some gardening done. First off, I'd like to add some brassicas to my tomato garden. Um, brassicas will promote phosphorus to the growth of the tomatoes, which I think is currently lacking. So as part of that experiment, that is the next step there. And then after that, I see my sweet potatoes are starting to grow. Uh, so I would like to add some soil to that. Come along as I get started. This is my tomato garden. As you can see, currently it's in a bit of a sorry state. Um, recently I had to retransplant all of these plants and I think they're still in a bit of a shock. Um, but I think they're starting to get along. Um, so today I would like to add some of these brassicas that I bought and um, I think that added with the uh, beans that I've planted previously will be sufficient to create the necessary nutrients to balance out this container. So let's get going. I don't think we need too many, so I think we'll add one over here, and we'll add one kind of over here, and I know this container does look overcrowded, um, that's kind of by design, as this is a sort of experiment, we've got two here, so we'll just separate them, and we'll put them in. Um, and then the rest will plant in a container on their own for use in the future. Okay, let's see. Let's start with this one over here in the corner. We don't want to disturb the tomatoes too much. So let's just make a little bit over here. Containers do present a bit of a challenge. So I'm going to just loosen this bit a little bit. Simple. Just pack that in there. I think these will go a long way to provide the necessary phosphorus. I think you can see in this peas over here. Traditionally, I've had a very, very bad luck with peas. The beans do a bit better, but the peas just they just don't want to. And I think that is because of the lack of balanced nutrients. So we'll continue with these. This one over here, right next to that little bean over there. Tomato over there is a bit strong. Let's put it in here. So we don't want to disturb existing resources. So we'll be careful with that. 
of them being so compact, hopefully that will help spread the actual nutrients. If it is balanced enough, it won't really matter if they are compact because the fact that they are providing each other the nutrients that they need will mitigate the competition that they create for each other. At least that's the theory. It is a theory that I'm testing and I haven't really found anybody else that is testing it. Leave a, leave a comment if you have an idea or if you, if you think that I'm on the wrong track. a little bit That's the first job. Next, in that container over there, we've got some sweet potatoes growing. And as you can see, if I show you a closer view, you see the shoots are just coming up. So I want to cover that up quickly. In order to do that, we're going to need to get some new soil. I bought some new compost this morning. So let me get some. Right, I found some swill. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Be careful not to put this in the middle. Then next thing, we need to plant the rest of those brassicas somewhere else. So let's make a container for that. Right, as you can see, I filled the container of soil so we can plant our brassicas in here. Just make a little bit of a row for them. There's only three left. So let's go ahead. Yeah. 
this out a bit. And then the last job will be to just order the, the garden a little bit. But as it is going to be quite cold tonight, I'm going to just give them a little bit of water. I don't want the roots to get too cold, even in a greenhouse at the below zero temperatures, it's still a bit cold. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of water so it has something. Lately, when I've been watering, I've been using this bottle to try and kind of protect the leaves as much as possible, specifically with the tomatoes. As you know, the water can actually cause quite a few problems when it comes in contact or stays on the leaves. It could cause frostbite, particularly in the winter. So, so I've tried to avoid through the potatoes and the sweet potatoes earlier it seems that they still got quite a lot of wet soil underneath so I'm not gonna worry about them too much well we've come to the end of my first vlog I'd like to thank everybody that watched it and uh, if you enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe I'd really appreciate that very much and I'll see you next time